Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Mess. So, taking another fun and random episode, guys, this evening, because a few weeks ago I covered a new Sonic the Hedgehog fan game, and I figured it was only fair to give Nintendo fans their due because a Super Mario Bros. CD speedrun competition demo came out, and I've seen photographs of this game. It looks so strange and so weird, like Mario, except in Bizarro World. I figured it would be a ton of fun to cover it on the channel, especially if you're not aware. And this speedrun demo is in version 2.2, so we're gonna check it out, see what the team is doing, and talk about the overall. Super Mario Brothers CD project because if you can't tell already that is Mario it's a Goomba but otherwise this seems like a completely different universe that Mario is inhabiting the art style the music the effects this just feels like something that you could have potentially played back in the day but never did almost like a piece of lost media but I will say in the two levels that are here it makes me very intrigued to see what the team does for the actual release of the game this is very interesting it's unique look and it does feel and play exactly like a Mario game should, except in a completely different vibe. But I am going to do the speedrun challenge a little bit later in the video, but I kind of wanted to take a tour through this new Mushroom Kingdom and see exactly what's going on, because like I said, it feels both innately familiar as well as completely foreign all at the same time, and I actually love that in fan games, when it reminds you of the property it is working with, but it completely pivots up everything else to the point where your expectations are both met, exceeded, and completely disregarded all at the same time in the best way possible. Possible. And this basically feels like what would have happened if the CD attachment had come out for the Super Nintendo and not gotten cancelled and ended up as a PlayStation 1. A little bit of alternate history there. But I have seen, like I said, this game in photographs. I've been very intrigued to check it out. And over the weekend during Easter, I was able to sit down and get this footage. And what I played so far, I am very happy with. This is super impressive. The team has done a great job taking the Mario formula and making something completely new out of it while also feeling like a Mario game. I would say that if Nintendo released this, people would be very happy about it. That's the level, at least in this demo, that it's rising to. And I do love the new art style. It's probably going to be divisive, but I think it takes what you know, love, and remember about Mario and really makes something new and creative with it. But let's put a hot lap together with Grasslands here and take a look at the speedrun timer and talk about the overall level layout and enemy placement. Because so many people love to speedrun the original Mario games, and if you want to speedrun something like this, the enemy placement needs to be challenging but fair, and the level needs to have a good flow to it. Now, honestly, I only did this about half a dozen times, so you're going to see I died right there, but I was able to put a run together once I actually learned the level, and I have had a ton of fun with this as well. And I would say once you actually learn where everything is, speedrunning this becomes a ton of fun, and it is a testament to just how well the level design truly is, and I'm sure there's a lot of places here that I could increase my speed. I am not a speedrunner in any way shape or form but I did decent enough to get a few times up on the board and that is all down to like I said the way that they lay up the level and the enemy placement you'll see there once you jump off a of Goomba you do get a speed boost which is going to become absolutely essential for any sort of speed run and apparently some of the people that get up into the top of the leaderboards are going to get early demos to be able to test new versions of this game so there is actually some sort of prize going on not the best run but I was able to do a 3906 and that was decent enough for me or at least it's a 3908 once you get to the results screen but let's take a look at the other level beach because it is fundamentally much longer than the other level grasslands it has an absolutely wild soundtrack a lot of fun features and a lot longer as far as the gameplay is concerned and i love that this feels like a mix of super mario world as well as the original nes games it kind of straddles that time period between the two almost like there was a system between the super nintendo and the nes and i do again love the graphic stylings here. Mario sprites familiar but completely strange at the same time. The enemies you know and remember are here and they're mixing them from totally different Mario games. It kind of feels like a greatest hits in the best way possible. I love these palm trees here as well which I'm sure if you speed run this level is going to become very important to run across the top of them because it's going to keep you immune from getting hit by enemies but you will see they're swimming in the game. The physics seem to work just like they should and again I'm just blown away by how different this truth Really does look. It feels like a Mario game that was lost. There was a beta. Somebody found it in their closet somewhere or somebody's uncle, joking, worked at Nintendo and found it for them and it got released to the internet. That's the vibe this really gives me and I'm not sure if that's what the team's going for but I do appreciate it. And when I said the soundtrack is completely different, I 100% mean it. Go ahead and listen for 45 seconds. I'll come back and show you more of this brand new Mario game.
Definitely doesn't sound like Super Mario Brothers, but that's because it is utilizing the MSU-1 enhancement chip, and that is basically giving you that CD quality audio, and it doesn't sound like something that would come from the Super Mario World franchise, but it still sounds great. What I really love most, more than anything, is the overall graphics and color here. All of the colorways are so unique and charming, and you even get some of the Super Mario Brothers 2 gameplay hooks being able to pull things out of the ground, but in this instance, they are not turnips. You're going to see some Yoshi eggs right there. But this is just so much fun. I love covering these new projects, especially when they change things up so much. The Sonic the Hedgehog video I did, everyone loved to see that. So if you like more of these videos, do leave me a comment down below and I will definitely keep bringing them to the channel. But I'm just so excited to see where this game goes in the future. Because the second level here being much longer, I do like the layout of the overall structure. All of the different paths, all of the palm trees, the parallax scrolling in the background. It just marries itself together to create a really intriguing and convincing Mario game and because this is Super Mario Brothers CD it does feel like that console and game that never exists and I always love that in fan games when they give you something that you feel like you've seen before but they give it to you in a different way so it feels unique at the same time the best fan games do that sort of thing and I definitely think that Super Mario Brothers CD is going down the right path but as far as the speedrunning aspect is concerned I feel like even in this demo it is definitely going to take off and I hope that they keep the speedrun mode in a full game when it does release because Mario speedruns are so much fun to watch. I definitely check out AGDQ every year and some of the Mario speedruns are some of my favorites because when people learn all the different techniques and level layout, watching somebody run through these levels is just an absolute joy. I'll never be that good and you probably won't either unless you are a speedrunner, but tell me down below if you're into speedruns or not. I feel like the community is kind of 50-50 on my channel as to whether or not they watch them. But as we travel a little bit further through this level, it just makes me wonder what other worlds are going to show up in the game because obviously Mario games usually have like seven or eight different unique worlds with different graphics and different overall vibes. So I'm expecting kind of to see an ice world sometime in the future, as well as at least a fire or lava land, because that's kind of endemic to Mario. And I do like that you can go into the background a little bit as well. It is a nice touch. So if you want to play this game and you 100% should, I will leave a link below to the developer's page. It'll give you an entire overview on all the systems it runs on. It runs on real hardware, pretty much every emulator whatsoever that'll run Super Nintendo. And I did check it out on Mr. FPJ because I noticed that that field was marked with a question mark and no one was sure if it ran on Mr. And I can tell you right now, I was able to play on Mr. No issues whatsoever. So you should be fine as well. And I was happy to be able to tell the team that news because of course we want to see some Mr. Gameplay footage. But let's put one more speed run up on the board. Try to best our time. I'm definitely going to come back to this. I want to get on that leaderboard for no reason other than pride. And you'll see there, I knew I was screwed. So I just ran right off into the pit and decided to do it again. And that is the fun of this. The speed run mode, especially in this one level right here, you're talking about a 30 second run. So you can do this over and over again and try to learn the overall layout. And I think that that's just some of the best way to demo a game in progress. It really does show you what it can do because I can see times even in watching this footage where I could 100% improve my overall run. I'm slowing down. I just need to find the optimal path through the level and play it a little bit more. But even if I'm not great at it, I'm having a ton of fun. And that's all you want out of something like this. A project should deliver that same sense of fun and joy that the original games did. And Super Mario Brothers CD is 100% giving me that same vibe. And you'll see there I was able to improve my time by just about two seconds. And I'm definitely going to come back and try it again. But you should definitely Definitely check this out. It's a development in progress and it's a ton of fun to play. And just so everyone gets their credit, I'll do a little credit scroll here as we end the video. But go play Super Mario Brothers CD. It is absolutely a blast and I can't wait to see what the team comes up with next. Short of that, I'll see you guys next time. Go play this game. Bye bye.